Konnichiwa! Hey everyone, it's Jackie. I'm here today with this super cool geisha look. I have this pink outfit that my friend let me borrow and some chopsticks in my hair. I was actually looking at like a million zillion pictures for a geisha and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it. Should I do something a lot crazy like non-traditional geisha or should I like stick to the traditional geisha. I decided I'd stick more with the traditional geisha. I know I'm not exactly pale white. I just like slap myself in the face. I did get a couple shades lighter if you couldn't tell. We got some pink in our eyes, some big old lashes, and the red lips. I did a photo shoot, a geisha photo shoot, and they did my lips like... the makeup artist did my lips like only put color in the very center like that. I think it looks cool on real geishas, but for some reason I thought it was the ugliest thing on me ever. If you want to do like the little center lip, um, that's cool. I just don't think it worked for me. And then when you smile, it looks really weird because you have like color here and color here and just, it looks really weird. Okay, I don't want to talk anymore. Let's just get into the tutorial, okay? I talk too much. Okay, so if you want to find out how to be a geisha, stay tuned and find out how it's done. I'm going for a more classic uh, geisha look. So, in, but instead of using a white, uh, like face paint color, I'm going to use a foundation that's a couple shades lighter, and this is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in light. Then I'm just taking a foundation brush from e.l.f. Just apply that. Okay, and then once you have your face and your neck uh, with the foundation, uh, I'm going to take my Lee's Wadier Concealer Wheel and use this blue and this, which one? And this really light color and conceal the rest of my face. And once we have our face concealed, I'm going to take Revlon's Photo Ready Translucent Powder. Like that. And I'm taking this flat top buffer brush. Just picking that up like this. Tap off the excess and... Okay, so I have one eye completed and one eyebrow completed. Now let's get started with this eye and I'm going to start off by using Too Faced. Shadow Insurance. Just put a little. And blend that in. Let's zoom in. Put that up to the brow bone and then bring it under the lash line as well. And now what I'm using for eyeshadows is my 88 palette. I'm only using two colors, and the first one I'm using is this, where is it? Wait, I'm getting confused this way. This top, very bubblegum baby pink, right there. It's at the top of the pink row. And I'm just using a shader brush like this one from EcoTools. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and then once you have that done I'm going to take this very very hot pink magenta reddish pink color and I'm taking my elf blending brush focus focus is that focus oh yeah just brush like that and all I'm going to do is dab it in the color and then tap off the excess and we're just working this in the uh, outer third wait does that make sense just watch <laughs> you just want to concentrate on the outer area okay, and then also 
bring it under the lash line. Then you should have something that looks like this. If you want to add a highlight color, I would suggest using a like a yellow um, highlight color like this. This is rice paper from MAC. It's I'll just take my finger. It's like a skin tone, but it has like yellow in it. So that's if you want to add a highlight. You don't have to. Okay, and now we are going to do the liner. Okay, and for eyeliner, I am using the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black. Like always, this is like the one I always use in like every video. Let's zoom in. Okay, next I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner pencil. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Use whatever mascara you want. This is some really, really cheap mascara from the Color Workshop. Okay, and for lashes, I'm using the Super Dramatic Lashes from e.l.f. Um, I forgot the name. I think they're just called Dramatic Lashes. But they're super long, and I already have glue. I'm just waiting for it to dry. And I'm going to use my handy little tool to apply this on the lashes. Okay, so just take your mascara again and just blend those together. And now you just want to cover up the glue. And if they're super long, just try to like push them down so you can see a little better. And now for the eyebrows. Geishas have always really defined eyebrows and they don't usually have an arch, so I tried to cover that. I'm using Estee Lauder's Brown Rider pencil. And then I'll just be using this uh, eyebrow combing brush from Eco Tools. Let me see, do they look even? They look good enough. Your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Okay, and then for blush, I'm using Max Mineralize Skin Finish by Candlelight. Right there is where you contour, and right here is where you put your blush. I'm kind of putting it in the middle, in between both of those. Just to give a little bit of color. That's it. Okay, now for the fun part, the lips. Did I just turn yellow? The light's being weird. So, for the lips, I'm using Max lip pencil in cherry take a little tiny concealer brush and our concealer once you finish fixing up your lips this is the complete look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial did anyone notice I have chopsticks in my hair when your face is this white and pale, your teeth look very, very yellow. That's one bad thing about geisha makeup. And I actually like my eyebrows this, like, this bold, this thick. <laughs> I wouldn't wear this every day, but I think the eyebrows really just complete this look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, have a magical day. Arigato gozaimate. I think that means thank you. I'm not sure.